From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Bangladesh, awash with an abundance of water. Monsoon rains blanket the country during the wet season. All over the countryside, thousands of shallow wells have been dug using this traditional technique. These wells offer life during the long dry season. Water to drink, water to clean, water to live. But in early 1990s, dangerous levels of arsenic water were detected in these shallow wells. Suddenly, an unseen poison threatened Bangladesh's water supply. The crisis has led to a long and arduous search for safe water in the country over the past 20 years. Dr. M. Kali Gutsamen from the World Bank. The arsenic issue was uh, identified in the early 90s in, in Bangladesh, and uh, roughly about 35% uh, of the whole country is uh, you know, infested with uh, this problem. Uh, the amount of people is, is more than, uh, in Gulf is about more than 50 million. So it's, it was a huge, huge uh, problem. Almost overnight, one of the country's bountiful blessings became a deadly curse. Yan Zhang from UNICEF. Arsenic is very interesting because it interacts with the cells, the genes in many, many different ways. So it, it is a toxin. Uh, it's probably one of the only environmental toxins that attacks more than one organ in human body. And it also causes uh, various gene mutation or uh, expression differences that you know, other environmental carcinogens just aren't capable of doing. This villager has dealt with the effects of arsenicosis for over 20 years. Arsenic can create painful lesions on the skin and cause various cancers. It was hurting so much, I wanted to cut it out. As part of the arsenic mitigation efforts, the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, in collaboration with the Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission, has used nuclear techniques since 1999 to help locate safe water. Called isotope hydrology, they discovered that arsenic occurred naturally in the groundwater. By analyzing the age of groundwater and tracking its movement, they have helped predict where safe water can be found. Once the cause was discovered, villages were discouraged from digging shallow wells. Water from this well might be used to clean clothes, but will not be safe for drinking or cooking. Nasir Ahmed from the Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission. This is shallow aquifer is highly contaminated. The deep aquifer is one of the solutions for providing the safe and sustainable the water supply to the rural people. Working in 12-hour shifts, these men drill deep into the ground to find safe water for a village. It will take a week to reach 700 feet, where water is free from arsenic. In the town of Chapi Nawaganj, the IAEA and World Bank have used isotope analysis to find safe water. The discovery helps Bangladesh to save lives and money and investments needed for arsenic removal and water treatment plans. People now know that the best treatment for arsenic poisoning is drinking safe water, says this villager. If we get safe water, that's the real medication for us. Water is life. No one can live without safe water. Enormous progress has been made in projects like these over the past 20 years. Yet more needs to be done to ensure that clean drinking water in this country would remain arsenic-free long into the future. This report was produced by Dana Sacchetti for the United Nations.